So we are going to do the 2020 AMC 12A problem 10. There is a unique positive integer n such that log base 2 of log base 16 of n equals log base 4 of log base 4 of n. What is the sum of the digits of n? Now one way to solve this problem is to actually turn all of the logarithms into base 2 using some rules of logs and then solve for n directly like that. But we're going to try a different method in order to solve it faster. I noticed starting out that we have log base 2 and log base 4 as the outside function on both sides. In this case, if we take 4 to the power of both sides of this equation, that's going to be able to cancel out our logs immediately and we don't have to worry about any conversion. So let's see what that looks like. On the right side, we have 4 to the log base 2 of log base 16 of n. And that's going to equal 4 to the log base 4 of log base 4 of n. Now immediately on the right side of the equation, 4 to the power of log base 4 is going to cancel and we're just going to get log base 4 of n. But on the other side of the equation, what we can do is write 4 as 2 squared. And the reason that we want to turn 4 into 2 squared is remember that a to the b and then to the power of c is equal to a to the c and then to the power of b. So what we want to do is say 2 squared to the power of our logarithm is the same as 2 to the power of our logarithm and then squared. That's the key step. So what we can do is say on the left side of our equation here, we have 2 to the power of log base 2, log base 16 of n, and then squared. Again, this 2 and log base 2 are going to cancel out. So on the left side, we get log base 16 of n, and then squared. So from here, what we can do is say on the right side, we have log base 16 of n times log base 16 of n. That's going to equal log base 4 of n. We're going to do the exact same thing that we did up here. So let's see what that looks like. We take 16 on this side and 16 on this side. On the left side of the equation, we can again split up the exponents like this. So we have 16 to the log base 16 of n. Those are going to cancel out and give us n as the result. And then raise that to the power of log base 16 of n. On the right side of the equation, again, remember we can write 16 as 4 squared. So we can write this as 4 to the log base 4 of n and then squared, since 4 to the power of 2 gives us that 16. 4 and log base 4 cancel out, and that means that over here we're going to get n to the log base 16 of n equals n squared. This n right here squared, or in other words, because the base is the same on both sides, the only way this is true is if log base 16 of n equals 2, since we know n has to be a positive integer. Therefore, we can just take 16 to both sides and we get that n equals 16 squared, or in other words, n equals 256. If we want to find the sum of the digits of n, that's going to be 6 plus 5 plus 2, or in other words, 13. That's going to be our sum of the digits of n. So the thing to take away from this process is to realize that at the beginning we had a somewhat complicated algebraic expression. And because we're able to see from there that there is a way to get to a solution, in this case by simplifying all the logs and turning them into base 2, sometimes our first instinct is to just start bashing our head against that process trying to get the solution. But a lot of times that's not the most efficient way to get to our answer. So sometimes it's going to reward us to start out by thinking a little bit and trying to get creative about solving that problem so that we can get to our solution in only three or four steps and get our answer just like this.